Well, with this one, it's pretty good because you can either go a bit wider here or come in closer. So I'll show you both. This is like a bit wider, but the main thing is to get in position. Some people row too much and they're doing a shrug or some row and they're doing this. Try and get into a position where you're like a duck. You know, a duck has its back out like that. Yeah. You want to, want to sort of lock yourself in that position and stay there. Don't sort of do this or stand too high. You want to stay in a position like this and then just do that. So you just want to, whatever you want to stand up first or whatever, but just get into that position and then just row. Like I said, you can go there or for a different angle, you can just come in close. And the beauty of this machine, you can do on one arm, like as if you were doing a dumbbell row. So if you want to lean on here, or even if you've got a little bench, you could put the bench here. But if you've got this here, you can just put your hand there. I get a good squeeze and a good stretch. And then just the same. So what muscles are we working? Just so the... Your novice lats. trainer can your lats just know where they're well it's going to be like your lats you're going to work some of your traps or your on boys the middle so pretty much basic for the basic person your back you don't need to know every muscle group like yeah. when you eat something you don't care what's in it you just want it to taste good so it works your back Same thing, you go close or you could roll it with your hand there. And like I said, because you're doing back, a lot of people do their traps on shoulders day, but your traps go all the way down the middle of your back. So if you're doing these type of row movements on your back day, with this also, it's perfect for your shrugs. Now, one question people have asked, will bent over rows hurt their back? If you do them wrong, yes. But I, I <laughs> if you also... go too heavy or whatever, but no, if you've got a good back, you know, and you, like I said, you do them strict where you're like this. Some people you'll see doing this, if you start doing jerky movements, then you're gonna, as long as you're locked in nice and tight and you do the movement correctly, it will not hurt your back. You you will have a hurt back, but a good hurt, soreness from the muscle. Well, I was actually gonna say like, doing bent over rows and one arm rows will actually strengthen your back. It will, yes. And you'll be less likely to hurt your back doing other things yes like doing everyday life yes normally i've never been hurt in the gym never touch wood that's what, the two injuries i've had are outside the gym and generally you know i, I finished that shrug but let me with this shrug too you can do it wider here like a barbell but the good thing is you can do them this way which is a different angle too, where you just lean a little bit forward and shrug it behind your back. Just hits them a little bit different. Yeah, but as I was saying, you normally don't get hurt at a gym, because when you're training, you're focusing on what you're doing. Like you'll get here, you lock in position, and you do that. Now, if you're at home, you'll say, yeah, well, let me just pick that up. You just grab it, you're not really thinking about it. You know, the correct yeah. way would be to squat down and pick it up, but of course we don't do that. Even picking up a bag of heavy groceries, you might pick it up and twist and that's all it takes. You might bend over to put your shoe on and you just ah. So 
Yeah, I think because in gyms, you're more focused about what you're doing. You're concentrating on it. And at home or anywhere else, you just, you know, I said, picked it up. You don't think twice. You just go, okay. Oh, there it goes. But even then, like, um, because you train, you, you feel a lot better. Yeah, like yeah, said, yeah. You're going to be stronger in that. But even if you are strong, because even at my biggest and strongest, I still had little injuries outside the gym just yeah. because I went to pick something up. I wasn't warmed up. And because you think you're strong, you're like, oh, that's light. It won't hurt. But you can get hurt on the smallest thing just by twisting the wrong way doing it. So. Yes, so always be careful, even if you are big and strong, you've got a strong back. Just be careful what you do, always lift correctly. 